Hello to, hello to all of you that just came because you could. Because maybe you were interested in how I drew when I was a bit younger. So, this was a later drawing, but this was probably the first drawing because I was just like, oh, I'm gonna try to draw a tree. Guess what? I can't draw trees. And then it was just like, oh, I'll try drawing a human then. Failed that too. And I was just like, okay, I'll work on the chins. Who cares? And then I got, was like, trying to do some anatomy, but I fail all, all the time. Because he didn't know the structure of how to do it now like I do now. And then I was just doodling one day and I accidentally made this. And I really liked the idea of it. This is a character that I drew more recently. This, the, the sketches in blue are not recent, though. And this is a character. If you couldn't tell, she's just like, uh, like, she's either like, come here, or like, flipping them off. One of those. You know, and you can tell anatomy is perfect. Well, it's not. And then we have this. Because I was practicing, like, how people look. And then we have this. That mess of a hand, though. And then we have this one, which wasn't so recent. Because it's... Well, none of these are really recent. Because I haven't touched this thing in, like, two months. At least. And then we have these vampire girl... Which, she's a vampire, she's not. I had this, like, story going, so I was gonna draw it, but never mind. And then she's just like, oh, you know me. And she's a vampire. She's the same one in the other three drawings. And this originally started from this, because I was trying to draw, like, Legend of Zelda style. And it's just like, oh, that looks really good. And I tried redrawing it a few other times. Didn't really like it either way it came out. And then we have this. This I have not named. This I have not named. But they were OCs in a story. I give them all stories. We have the Cots. The Cots. Cat boys. And we have this one with the very thin arms. This is a redrawn version, definitely. Not sure what it's supposed to be, too. Oh well, yeah, this kind of reminds me when I drew X's for people's lost eyes. But I thought that was like a character trait, and a very good character trait. This was definitely like a bit older. Because if you can tell, the arms are spaghetti noodles. But like, the dress is pretty cool, I guess. And then there's just got me working on posture. You know, very thing about posture. And this one's just like, why boy? And they're just like, I don't know why. Stop looking at me. You know, if you're going to tell, I draw most of my other characters and still characters today with boots. Because it's a lot easier. And then we have these, which are, I don't know what they are. They're just drawings. That's half of my sketchbook, just drawings. Yeah, and then we got eyes. Eyes, 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 eyes. I think it's very important to, like investigate with what kind of eyes you can draw. Yeah, see, I tried drawing with one of the eyes on the other page. And again, it was just like, I swear to God that I could have drawn this. But nope. And then we have this tiny person who is too thin to exist. So skinny Nikki. Only Luray fans will get that. And then we got a pony. Because I used to be into ponies and they got me into drawing. So, you know, I still draw them from time to time. Because, you know, you got a rimness on your history. And then we got this almost watery-like hair. 
which I really love, but I never loved the hands. I was the very person that loved, um, I loved hair. I loved hair being shown, you know, as you can tell. But that for being a ham for what I used to draw was pretty good. Also, that one's pretty okay besides the pinky. I feel like everything besides how it's drawn is fine. I think there's not enough lines to be considered a hand. And then we just got this weird doodle. Yeah, we have a lot of weird doodles in this. I was recently gonna have to go through my newer one. But you know, I left that over at school for the weekend. And then we got me trying to draw in, in slight anime style. This was because I was trying to draw elves. And I, I still try to draw elves. And then we got an elf character that I had. You know. This is an elf character that I had. That basically has like new fire powers. And basically, they're based off of the anime, like, Blue Exorcist. Have you ever seen that? And they're like, God damn it, I hate all of you. Y'all are just trash. And we got that one. And we got an empty page. That's weird. Both of them are empty, basically. And then we got... Yeah, she's like really angry in that one. She's just like, okay, I'm gonna burn you to death. And someone grabs her just like, you really think this is the responsible way to do this? You idiot. And she's just like, it's this. <sighs> and then there's a more like updated version, but like with way scrawny arms. And that was me trying to draw someone like with their chest wrapped up. As you can tell, I don't really care about proportional things in, in the style. Well, when I had the style, it was just like draw, draw, draw. And then I have that one. And then we have this one, which was probably in the last five months, considering the style. But yeah, I really love this character. I am pretty sure I gave them a name, but I can't remember it. But like, they're the link leader of a gang. And basically, they'll end up dying at the end of the story. So the main character can become the gang leader. Makes no sense currently. And whatever this was, was that. Oh yeah, I tried drawing someone with a beard. He looks really, really tired. You know, way tired than I do. After studying all night. Then we have... Oh, this is of a character named Lucinda. Or Lucinda. I can't even remember the name to my own character. But it's like a font. And I really love the font. And then we have this character. Which has a drawing on the back of them. Which we'll get to later. And then we just have me drawing heads. Like cause, you know you gotta get an anatomy right somewhere. You know I was starting to figure out. Those eyes wouldn't work anymore. Especially with how I was like doing my bodies. I'm thinking we're gonna pause this, but it's gonna be like one second for you guys. Like, not even. The power of editing. But the power of editing may now also include my cat. Like, the best cat ever. Garfield, get off! I love you! He has like a nose. He's just like, I know that, but I want pets! So, we got that. And you just got a kind person with. Like those skinny legs. Skinny Nikki too. All these characters are skinny Nikki. That's not even a character. That's a head. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I ended up like drawing someone's OC. Like the head style. And I was just like, oh no, oof. Garfield, you're making this a lot harder than it has to be. Please stop sitting on it. I love you, but no! Come on, get off! Garfield! Okay, I love you. Okay, stop being a brat. You know, if you want to be a brat, come into my arms. And then I drew this angel. Because I, 
I saw an angel in the clouds because I can see things in the clouds. And then we got this girl. She's supposed to look like the emos, but she's really the most social social girl. And then we got more of her. The cat's just like, ooh, I want to be pet by this. Oh yeah, this is cunts and chance. You know, any kind, any kind. You're so annoying, is what the character said. Just this, it's not my fault, it's your fault. You're so mean to everyone around you that loves you. And then we have to, Garfield, let go of it. You know, enjoy him in the spare time. Okay, there we go. And then we got like an older one that's just like, I was so mean as a kid. And then this one's just, I'm sorry, everyone, I really was foolish back then. But like, she's always been blind. Well, not always. I mean, she had cancer. But you know, I mean, you kind of already understand this if you're probably watching my stuff. And then we, it's like a reunion. But she pregnant, that's the daddy, and they have a son who took his cape, well, his cloak that he wore in high school. And the, and you can tell the little brat's happy about it. Oh god, my phone's like, speeding up. Like, and then, this is another character who's just like, okay, I only had a dress to wear. Stop looking at me. And then we have another character of mine, which was actually, like, gonna be a savior, or the demon, of a story, but I never finished it. It was a, it was a gotcha story, anyways. And I still have images from it on my phone, and I'm just like, ah, I'm never finishing that. And then we got this angel, you know, because I can't draw hair or head. And then we got this. As you can tell, I was just very angry that day and I smeared all that stuff everywhere. Very mean. And then we got this girl. She's just like, how dare you, you baka. Baka sometimes. I would imagine that. And she's just like, okay, I'm gonna kick your butt if you touch me. Even if you breathe around me. She gives off the baka go vibe. And he's just like, what the hell is wrong with you? You know, that's how I feel after all of this. What the hell is wrong with me? But yeah, that's a dude. Even if he looks like a female, that's a dude. No anime traps here. And then you got this vampire and she's just like, oh yeah, you know the type of humans I love to buy. And you know, she's very, very strong about that she's the vampire we see on this page and the page after that one and then we get this girl she's like following falling not following i don't know what she would follow i mean for, i mean i'm not gonna say it never mind i'm afraid that it was holding it sideways Gosh dang it, this footage is ruined. <laughs> but yeah, then we got this one. I'll just edit that out for you guys. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll upload the rest of it if you want. But yeah, we get a pony. I was like experimenting with different types of furs. Because you know, you're supposed to do that when you're an artist. Like, look at those arms, though. Look at them. And that's, like, it's supposed to be a pony, but, you know, I can't get faceful, facial features, right? And then we have this mess of a pony. Don't ask. And we got this one that has, like, soft water flowing like hair. Kind of like this girl over here, which you've already seen, which is not spoiling. And then... This was my style when my cousin came over, and this is my cousin's style. 
Hers is definitely more realistic. And mine is just like, let's go cartoony. She's just like trying to say stop, but you know, I didn't know how to like properly position hands and everything back then, so you know. And then we have one of my favorite characters, Water Chan. She's like so perfect. She's like made out of water and so are clothes. Like, tell me you do not love this thing. I mean, it looks terrifying with all the colors, but it looked adorable without them. She kind of looked like wax, too. I drew this guy because I had, like, I was at a friend's house. This friend knows what I'm talking about, and they watch my channel, but now they're an ex-friend. So, I mean, I don't know if they watch my channel. But I saw this outside their window, and they were just like, you know, sometimes you should show me the drawing of it. So, you know, here they go. No, this was the first version of it because I was explaining it to my, um, cousin. And it was just, like, just drawing some gay stuff. It was just like, oh, let's have a boy comforting another boy. <laughs> you know, and then we have this person putting their hands behind their back. I don't even know what those are. <sighs> what even are those? I don't know, but I kind of want to know. Wait, is that a snake with a head? Ugh, no, I don't want to know that. We're mine now. And we have this one with the squirrel girl. My cousin asked me to draw a squirrel girl. And I was just like, okay. And then we have this empty one. And then we have this one. Sorry, I have to pick it up every now and then, because... You know, very lazy enough. Fine, I'll just do this for now. And we have this me trying to draw a picture of a person. A relatively human looking person. Um, pony for sure. Non definite. Then we have this nothing page. Then we have, um,. Prince of Firecon. Or Firecon. You know, whichever one suits him. But he's like this boasty jerk. He's actually off of this one character, which um was really a good guy, but he ends up um in a terrible state in this one book. I mean it's really awesome. You should read it. I want to say it's called, um, The Shadow King. The Dark? Dark Knight? Oh, God! This is why I can't read books. Can't remember the titles. Or suggest them, is what I meant. Yeah, but, like, Anatomy Doe. She's so skinny! We're gonna ignore that one, but, like, look at those arms! Look at those hands! <laughs> you know, even my phone shows them better than the quality they deserve. And if skip one, like, she's just like, oh no, don't touch me. And he's just like, what the hell just happened? And then we have her again. I think she's actually supposed to be like an SCP that I've made up. But you know, I have to be careful about that. I don't know what this was. Probably black shaving film, for if I can tell anything. And yeah, I tried drawing realistic hair. And I tried drawing a person, but you know, I can't draw. I tried drawing a person, and the head's too big. I tried drawing a head, failed. But like, they all look horrible. If you guys want, I can show you, like, what I'm gonna edit out. Like, the bloopers. Anyways. But yeah, we here we have one of the ones that I'm actually proud of. Because our skirt flows correctly. Yeah, that's the reason why. And we have this perfect hair. Definitely not anything wrong. 
And then we have her. She's just like, uh, yeah, I need my eye fixed, dog. Can't you see it? It's leaking black stuff. And then we have a supposed elf girl. And she actually has legs. Instead of arms. Oh god, what kind of hand drawing system is that? Now I understand why you sucked at drawing hands. So we have this one character that has this spear metal thing and a gun from what I can perceive. Which is a more newer version of my stuff. Well, older version of my new my current style. We're gonna just skip over this one that I see. I think we skipped over it originally anyways. And then we have this one where it's just Deku. Deku! And then we have this one girl. Who's a devil and she's just like, come on, chill, dude. My dad owns this place. His father may be here. I am definitely not breaking in. And then she grabs the servant like, hey, you're cool, dude. You're coming with me now. And he's just like, no, I did not agree to this. And it's just like, oh, God, I want to go home. Please stop this. I need to get a paycheck for my mom. Please. And then she's just like, hey, meet my new servant, Dad. And she changes into something terrible. And he's just like, the dad's just face bombing the whole entire time. Yeah, my cousin drew this. Because we were talking about stupid, scary ghost stories. And then we have this one. Where this is a vampire and this is the girl. Okay, I had a story where she was getting... Someone was sold to a vampire. Okay. Silly. In all ways, yes. So I guess that's the end of my sketchbook. I never drew on the back or anything. So that's it for the first one. Goodbye. Have a great day. Whatever. Have a good night. You do you, boo. That's what I gotta say. Now goodbye. I'll have a good day.